today the sky is really yellow and it creates this sort of yellow haze inside my house and the Midwestern in me is like, oh no, tornado weather. It's not tornado weather. It's just morning. Mira. I am heading to Jimmy's for this evening because we're going to watch the movies that Haunted Houses are based on this year, which means I'm not going to use Megan for her views. And instead, I'm going to use Jimmy, probably. Damon <laughs> is currently talking to a telemarketer who just called him uh, while we're hanging out at the bar. It's been a long time, dude. It's been a long time. And I can guess like nobody's business. What was this call actually for? Uh, some sort of resort trip to Florida. Wow, lucky you! Winning the resort trip to Kissimmee. Uh, I sure want to Kissimmee. Yeah. Kissimmee, Florida. They were dedicated though. They called you twice. It was clearly a supervisor calling after the initial employee couldn't get the sale, uh, and they were trying to explain, "Let's show you how this works and uh, how that worked for them." I'm not too good, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm at Jimmy's, we're gonna watch movies, but I wanted to show you something. Uh, as you know from previous videos, Jimmy runs his own haunted house. Only at his place is the mixture of groceries on the counter, kebabs, uh, let's see, wine, and, and rats. Oh, oh, yeah, he's down. This is what everyone else has on their kitchen counter, know. right? He's down. So when you open most people's closets, you know, it's messy. Uh, Jimmy's closet is an exception, except that his mess is beehives and body parts. Oh yeah. All right, look at this. We're grilling shish kebabs. This is a gourmet meal. Also, I'm eating meat. Oh, Poltergeist is beginning. It is a two hour movie. My anticipation is that it will be one hour and 30 minutes of boring buildup and then 30 minutes of action because the other movies I've seen from this era, ah, uh, The Exorcist and The Shining have worked that way. Do you, do you hear what's playing right now? This is not the way I expected Poltergeist to open. Guys, Poltergeist is a patriotic film. I don't know why people insist on putting creepy clowns into children's rooms, because it only ends badly. This will end badly. They wouldn't be having these issues if they, you know, didn't leave their TV on all night. Ladies and gents, Poltergeist is the reason they invented sleep functions for televisions. I really love that she set up scientific tests yeah, to I... like test the poltergeist. What a resourceful woman. And also she was just celebrating the chair moving. How great. What a mother. She has set up this like course where they can put a chair or a child or themselves in the start and then they slide to the stop. And no one's at all freaked out. It's just fun. I love this movie. Also, like, I feel like I should be like, I would move out, but let's be real. I would also have built a course that would allow me to slide from one end of my house to the other. I do not understand why everyone's having a whispered conversation in this scene, because literally everyone is awake. There is no reason to whisper. Hey, look, it's the lady from The Mummy Ride. She plays a psychic in movies. This movie, actually. This is supposed to be like blood and guts, but it definitely just looks like strawberry jelly. They're just covered in strawberry jelly. The psychic declared that this house was clean and cleansed. She was wrong. Why? Because it's the last 20 minutes of the movie, which means everything that's going to be in our house is happening now. The movie is over. What I have learned from Poltergeist is A, all movies in the 80s, everything happens in the last 20 minutes. Because everything that's in our house happened in the last 20 minutes. B, Television is very bad for you because clearly the TV was the problem. The fact that the entire complex of houses was built on graves is not the issue. The problem was clearly having a television. So it turns out my mom was right. TV can kill you. So yeah, that's been my evening hanging out with Jimmy and watching Poltergeist. I feel really prepared for Halloween Horror Nights now. I'll see you tomorrow.